Hi there. I'm Chris May, writer, producer, and host of this podcast, This Day in Weather History from the Weather Network. Today is part one of a two-part story. I don't do these very often, but this has to do with Hurricane Katrina. There were two monumental events, the day it formed and then the day it hit Louisiana. And part two is on the 29th of August, so be with us for that. It was the hurricane heard round the world. So many twists and turns to this one. But could it all be blamed on this one hurricane between these two episodes? We'll find out. It originated on this day in weather history as a tropical depression known as number 12 in the Bahamas. The next day, this tropical depression strengthened to tropical storm Katrina. And on the morning, that was on the morning of the 24th. And by the 25th, it was the fifth hurricane of the 2005 hurricane season only two hours before it made landfall in the state of Florida. Hurricane Katrina struck the peninsula with 130 kilometer per hour winds. What was most impressive was that it had a very well-defined eye, and that eye stayed as such through its entire travels across the Sunshine State. The initial forecast was that this was going to continue along its merry way and twist its way to the panhandle in the coming days. But because we've already seen this movie, we know that Katrina did not do that. It would go on to rewrite history, and in an age of new media and advanced digital technology, the horrifying images of what happened next were seen by everyone around the world. And on August 29th, we get to the day Katrina struck New Orleans between the 23rd and the 29th. That's a huge chunk of time. Same hurricane, same story, completely different set of circumstances this day in weather history.